Who we got next? We gonna talk about who made some money this week. Talk to me. With the Stella Stock Report. Talk to me. Before I get into it, bro, sorry to cut you off, bro, before I get into it, because I'm excited to talk about it. This turning into everybody's favorite segment. We only did one. We only did one? The amount of text messages I got, first of all, shout out to Big Bro L, shout out to Slim, shout out to Nephew Khalid that do a great job, you know what I mean, adding the bells and whistles to all the videos we right, put out. Right. People out there, they loving it, bro. So first, I want to give a shout out to y'all, man. Y'all doing great work. Y'all killing it, man. Um, I feel like my job easy. I'm just sitting here talking about football. I love football. So I'll be somewhere at somebody's house or on the phone with somebody talking about football anyway. So first, I want to give a shout out to y'all boys, man. Y'all killing it. But this week in our Stella Stock Report, we got four guys that's out here making that money. You know, in the Stella Stock Report, we don't talk about bad money. We only talk about good money. Only good money. All right. So this week we got our first guy we got is Ursuline Senior Athlete, D.C. Farrell. Um, we got to see D.C. this week play against the Feral Steelers, um, no pun intended. And uh, when you watch DC play, man, just feel like every play he could do something. You know what I mean? Especially now that he had quarterback playing quarterback right. this year. But as far as his stock moving forward, every week I feel like his stock going to keep raising. Because, um, you know, DC ain't, ain't the biggest kid as far as height. You know what I mean? So sometimes them kids, they get put on the back burner because all the other college coaches trying to recruit all these other bigger kids. But DC, a, he's a flat-out baller. Uh, pound for pound, I feel like he's one of the best players in Northeast Ohio, for sure. Um, I feel like if, if I was a college recruiter, I'm going to try to red shirt him. I'm going to try to get him close to 185, 190 pounds, and I'm putting him in a slot, and I'm making him my starting punt returner, and hopefully be my starting punt returner in slot for three, four years, and he's going to make plays for you. Absolutely. So, you know, shout out, D.C. We love your game here, D.C. Keep doing your thing. Um, D.C. got two offers from St. Francis and Slippery Rock. I expect towards the end of this year that'll change and he'll get a lot more. So our first guy we got is D.C. Farrell. Shout out, D.C. Keep doing your thing. All right. Second guy we got, um, he was one of our players of the game a couple weeks ago in week one. It's Cleveland Heights senior safety Jalen Ward Eppinger. Um, This kind of came full circle week one. We was at the Cleveland Heights game. They won. Mm -hmm. He was our player of the game. Um, I look up yesterday. I'm at the YSU game with some of my uh, kids from Warren. Shout out to all my kids that went with me. And I look up who who there at the game, who got invited to the game. Jalen Ward Effinger. Um, so that let me know college coaches are seeing this game. He played at Cleveland Heights with a lot of Division One and Division Two talent. So it's always schools that's in the building talking to Coach Max Stevens. Mm -hmm. I know Coach is doing a great job pushing him. But if you need a defensive back, if you need a kid that could be a safety or a nickel, kind of could play both, and you want somebody that's as versatile enough to cover, play in the box, and have ball skills, this kid could be your kid, man. You know what I mean? He plays with the right football temperament. He ain't scared of nothing. He running around hitting. Like, if you look at him, he's six foot, 175 pounds. He ain't the biggest kid. But every week, he, he putting guys on their back. He got flat lines out there, so... Mm. Shout out Jalen Ward Effinger. Right now, I know he's getting a little bit of interest from YSU and Akron. I expect that to keep going up if he keep balling. So, shout out Jalen. Keep doing your thing, baby. Next kid we got. We ain't did a Glenville game yet, but that's going to be Glenville junior athlete C.J. Newell Jr. This kid been balling every week. He played last year on that good team, that state championship team they had last year. He played as a sophomore. When you just think about football players, you know football. You've been around it. When I just say he a football player, to me, that's Chris Newell. You know what I mean? I can see him in college. I can see him in college playing corner. I can see him playing free safety, strong safety, or nickel. I can also see him being a tailback. You know what I mean? Um, he had a big, long touchdown run against Avon the other night. They lost, but he been balling every week, making plays on both sides of the ball. Um, I, I think that kid is going to be a, 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 a football player. You know what I mean? Some kids going to be athletes, uh, height, weight, speed guys. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Some people dominate you by their pure strength. I think this kid is just a football kid. His instincts and his intelligence and his toughness going to make him a good football player for whatever program he eventually go to. Right now, he got four D1 offers. He got Akron, Kentucky, Pitt, and Temple. I expect when December, January come around, you always hear me saying that. That's when the evaluators mm -hmm. kind of get back out here after that regular season in college. I expect his number to go up to 10 offers real quick at the end of the season. So shout out to Chris Newell, CJ Newell, his real name, Chris. Shout out to CJ, doing your thing, baby. We ain't been at the game yet, but we paying attention here at Between the Lines with Coach Stella. We love your game, so keep doing your thing. And the last kid we talking about, we just talked about him in the, in the segment before. He was our PC. He's our PCT peak performer of the week. And that sophomore, DeAndre Richard. 
Um, he only a sophomore right now. He got one early offer from Toledo as a sophomore, so that's great. I just feel like if this kid get better every week, keep taking care of his body, get in better shape every week, I feel like he going to have a couple weeks where he get 200, and I feel like when that December, January evaluation period come around, as a sophomore going into his junior year, he's going to be one of the big names in Northeast Ohio we're going to be talking about. Again, he in a program that, that wins, goes to the playoffs every year. Mm-hmm. He's a good football player. He got a head coach that could push him, um, that's, that's going to sell him the right way to coaches. And he also got a program that believe in going to camps and getting extra exposure for his kids. So that's a kid I can see taking off here in a minute, bro. Um, shout out to DeAndre. He, When I watch DeAndre run, I always say high school version because I don't want people to say, oh, he's saying this. I'm never saying the kid is going to be the names that I compare him to. I'm just saying their play style. Wow. When I watch him, he remind me of Emmitt Smith. Short, cocky back. Um... Super quick in the hole, good vision, but he got some long speed. Um, I just feel like he got good instincts, good vision. When I watch him run, he just kind of remind me of Emmett Smith a little bit. You know what I mean? Kind of how Emmett just glided, always made the right cut based on how his line was blocking. And I feel like as a sophomore, man, <laughs> the sky is the limit for this kid. So that's our Stella Stock report for this week, yeah, baby. Just, how you uh, feel about them names, man? For sure, for sure. Um, DeAndre, you know, I, we got to see him up close. As a freshman last year yep. against Iggy, yep, and uh, he he told he told her that ball a lot. Yes, as, as a freshman, freshman. And, yes. You know, and was, so so you know coming back healthy this year, yep, with that experience and already you know so we already seen what it was with him as a freshman. So yep. definitely looking to see looking to see DeAndre's name um, constantly for sure, constantly being for sure spoke about. I got to talk to DC Farrell earlier this summer. Oh yeah, and. Uh, and he he made it clear to me that you know he he want he he he's gonna play for his respect you know so right. now DC like you mentioned aside from his height if 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 DC was six one six two if DC was six one six two he'd be a five star he'd be he'd be all over four star be, five know. star but uh, have twenty something offers for sure he'd probably be already committed to whatever school but he uh, want to be committed to for sure but I think I think that's a part of the thing that makes him special as well yep. though, because. You know, he doesn't complain about it. He uses it as fuel. He's so going to get it. We we spoke this summer briefly at the um at the camp at Camp McKinley at the seven on seven uh tournament. Right. And he was pretty, you know, adamant and wasn't mm-hmm. shy about the fact that, you know He's standing on business this season. Yeah, he's going to get what he wants. He's going to get he going and, to get and it. you know, he a youngstown kid. Right. That's what, like I've been playing against Youngstown kids since I've been five. Um coaching against them now. And now that I'm grown, it's like I look at Youngstown like that's the community. That's part of the community. That's the neighbor. Man, Youngstown kid is tough, man. Youngstown kid is tough. They always got a chip on their shoulder, and they go get theirs. You know what I mean? So I'm sure, like you said, that's embedded in him. You know what I mean? Being that you grew up in Youngstown, um, and he's standing on business. He's going to get his, man. He's playing with that extra chip on his shoulder every week. So shout out to them guys, man. Shout out DC. Shout out Jalen. Shout out CJ and DeAndre. I'm happy to see Jalen Ward because, you know, um, he 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 ever he showed us some emotion, right? Uh, when we was up there at the uh, at the Cleveland Heights Trotwood Madison game, and even a coach Stevenson had had mentioned to us right. briefly about what he went through just to get on the field. Right. Year. They didn't know if he was going to even be be right. available for them week one, let alone be such an impact. Been through a um, lot, right? Right, been through a lot. So shout out to those guys. For sure, baby. Stock report. Stella stock report, baby. Money, that money going up. Keep doing man. your thing for sure.